Welcome to my CEH version 9 review guide. Here we're looking at questions 41 through 45. Alright, so the first one is, if someone calls and they're asking about information to be released, uh, what you have to do is get approval from management. Uh, so if the request comes via phone or via a letter, you don't just disclose it. I mean, any information that your organization provides should be approved by management. And it seems very straightforward, but you would be surprised how often it really is not. Understand the major differences in layer 7 as it relates to IPv6 and IPv4. Remember that IP normally will be dealing with layer 3. IPv6 is 128 bit, IPv4 is 32 bits. So again, understand the differences. Also, because when you're looking at differences at layer 7, that's going to be data. IPv4 and IPv6 doesn't matter because IPs are at the layer 3. The higher level layers, they don't concern themselves with IP routing or the network functionality. That's what layer 3 is for. So again, if you get a question about what is the major differences in layer 7 as it relates to IPv6 and 4, there is no difference at layer 7. The difference is at layer 3. Automation, or the automation role within security. Understand the purpose of automation. We have a lot of manual tasks that we can automate. For example, why would we want to manually do updates on every computer? We wouldn't. We would set an automated task or an automated role to do auto updates. And then probably for quality assurance, some QA, check them. Maybe you randomly sample five machines out of every hundred. Make sure that they're working correctly. Question four is understand black uh, BlackBerry security, make sure you understand what blackjacking attacks are. Okay, so a blackjacking attack is the act of hijacking a BlackBerry connection. The attacker must uh, use of the BlackBerry environment to bypass traditional security. They attack the hosts of the network, usually with a BlackBerry proxy tool. All right, last question. What happens when two hash values are the same and they're not the same data? That's known as a collision. They are rare, but they do happen. Again, if you have file one and file two and they're different files, the hashes shouldn't be the same. However, if they are, that's known as a collision. All right, that's five questions for today. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you.